welcome back to a work day. I'm so excited. It's been a minute since I filmed one and it's really, really nice outside. So I have the windows open. Vinny loves staring out this window and like feeling the fresh air in the morning. Come here. There you are. Vinny, hi. Okay, I am making my husband's lunch for work. He uses this old Lululemon bag as his lunchbox. In here we have three boiled eggs. That's just what he likes. He likes to have like a really light lunch. Almonds and a fruit cup. This is no sugar added mandarin oranges. So yeah, that's what he likes to have for lunch. And then we have like a heavier dinner. My scrubs are in the dryer as usual. I'm gonna fluff them up a little bit so they're not wrinkled. He goes off to work. When you're rubbing stuff in your face, guys, go up, go up, anti-gravity. Don't go down, don't pull your face down. Push it up, life hack. I've been, <clears throat> I've been on the concealer game. Never used concealer in my entire life until recently. <laughs> And it makes such a big difference. Literally, look at her. Like, why? Okay, my hair is extremely greasy, so we're doing a low bun today. It's also Moe's Day, which is a form of skin surgery performed by usually a dermatologist where they remove the skin cancer and they take multiple layers. It's a whole process, so we'd have dedicated days for this type of surgery. We have seven surgeries this morning, so I'm gonna be assisting. I'm gonna be like on my feet for most of the morning, so I'll do a lot of B-roll and clips like that, and then the afternoon should be more relaxed, and I'll show you guys some other stuff but as usual i'm wearing my figs i will have these linked down below my go-to scrubs and then my work bag is this louis that was gifted to me years ago and i just added this strap to it i'll link where i got the strap as well i'm going to starbucks to get some breakfast for everybody because on surgery day it's just really chaotic so we usually bring breakfast one of us will bring like bagels or whatever so i'm just gonna get like some croissants and some other items from starbucks that way we are energized and ready for the day it is 8 30 i go in at 9 so we are right on time <laughs> So it's time to get ready to hop into surgery. The team is here. We are hydrating and getting ready for the day. As I've said many times in the past, it's very important to protect yourself from the sun so that you don't end up needing surgery to remove skin cancer. We've seen so many young people with cancers on the nose, on the cheek, on the ear, and oftentimes they go undetected. It's a huge myth that skin cancer is only common in elderly people. Although they do have a lot of skin cancer, it is also very common in young people, especially those who go in the sun without sunscreen. So I highly encourage you guys to put sunscreen on your face every single day and on your body if you're exposed to the sun for long periods of time. Okay, we just finished surgery. It's 1.11 pizza and salads for the office. Ooh, pepperoni, cheese, and meat. This looks so good. So I'm finishing up my lunch pretty quickly and the afternoon was pretty slow. So I'm catching up on some admin work. I'm paying some bills that need to be paid before I go out of town because I'll be missing a day of work. I basically spent the rest of my afternoon in the back office, just making sure everything is organized and ready to go. All right, guys, I... Get to keep my mom's old ipad it's like the generation that has the button so it's really old and it dies in 30 minutes but it's nice because i can show patients befores and afters and basically that's it <laughs> she got the new one for christmas from my dad so i officially have an ipad my mom said that my ear is looking not so good she said that there's like granulomas forming around the piercing <laughs> Pray for me, you guys. It does hurt a lot, I'm not gonna lie. So she cleaned it really good. 
but I just left work. It was a pretty busy day, so I couldn't film as much as I would have loved to, but if you guys wanna see like a full medical assistant day in the life, I have that video up on my channel. I will link it down below, but I wanted to tell you a new business thing that might be happening. If you've been watching, you know I kind of started out as a medical receptionist and then MA and then I pay the bills and stuff too, so I do some of the admin work. <sighs> Hello. My mom, who is my boss, the dermatologist, was saying that she wants me to get more into cosmetic consultations, which basically means when a patient comes in for something cosmetic and they say, oh, I wanna do X, Y, Z, I am supposed to go in there, talk to the patient, answer any questions that they have, and potentially show them things that they may not have come in for, but that would interest them. So for example, if someone came in for lip filler, but I see that they could potentially use some Botox, I would say, hey, have you ever tried Botox? what are your thoughts on it and just kind of like close that patient's experience when it comes to presenting everything to them and seeing what they're interested in and helping them decide what would be best for them that's exciting so stay tuned I'll let you know how it goes and she also said that she wants to get more into IV therapy potentially weight loss therapy so a lot of exciting things that may be happening in the future anyways I'm home I'm about right here with my water, which is pretty good for me. I am sitting outside for a little bit to warm up because I'm so cold and it's really nice out. <sighs> oh. <laughs> I also haven't been sleeping well again. <laughs> I got like six hours of sleep last night, which is really low for me. So bear with me, you guys, but the sun feels really good on my skin. The key is face away from the sun and let your body absorb the vitamin D. I've seen all of these arguments saying, we need vitamin D, the sun is good for you. I agree with the first part that we need vitamin D, but the second part that the sun is good for you is not necessarily true. It's actually very damaging to your skin. So if you insist on getting sun, let it be not to your face and still limit your time in the sun like i'm not going to sit here for more than a couple minutes the uv index is low otherwise i would have sunscreen on my body but it does feel good i'm not gonna lie okay guys revolve reached out to me and they were like do you want some clothes and i was like absolutely i do so they sent over some pieces. I'm gonna do a quick haul for you guys. I tried to find the most affordable pieces that I could find because I know that some items can be quite pricey and I wanted you guys to be able to shop the product. So this first outfit I'm absolutely obsessed with. I'm wearing these girlfriend jeans and they have rips in the middle. I'm in a size 26 and it is a little bit loose, but that was kind of the vibe that I'm going for. And then we have this cool black crop and it has two ties in the back. I'm wearing a sports bra here so this is actually just my bra but it has these two ties which i think are so cool i am obsessed with these jeans they're super soft and comfortable and i'm really into like the baggy look right now next up we have this white cropped tank top i love this it's nice enough to wear like out and about but also i could wear this to the gym all of these items will be linked down below all right next up we have this little collared button down you can obviously button it down all the way or you can kind of leave it open this is super cute i would totally wear this if i was still working at my dad's office it's such a cute little work shirt little business casual it's also ribbed and it's a really soft like luxurious material all right this one is a little bit oops aj's calling me hello filming a clothing haul i'm not gonna go today are you going straight there okay bye all right this one is out of my comfort zone but it's so stinking cute it's from the brand super down and it's a bodysuit i'm in a size small i didn't button my jeans all the way but this is so cute i love it all right next up we have this shimmery gorgeous brown tank top bodysuit this is absolutely stunning you can see it glistening in the sun can you see that literally so cute and i like pairing something loose like looser jeans with a tighter top to just kind of balance it out all right and they also sent over these sandals and i'm obsessed with them they're from the brand ray and i'm in a size nine they're so cute i love that they're like bold and chunky i feel like that is in right now and they do give me a good two inches which never hurt anybody i needed a new 
pair of sandals, so I'm excited for these. Who is calling me? Zero, 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 zero. No thanks. All right, last up we have these burnt orange leggings. These are probably the softest leggings I've ever felt. They're a different material than I've ever felt. They're like actually butter. This is brand Camilla Colo Coelho. Super high rise. She looks really cute with this shirt. They have a lot of other cute colors as well. I'm rocking a little Halloween look right now. I also ordered a pair of cargo pants from them. I actually exchanged them for a different size. So those won't be here till after Texas, which I'm leaving for Texas tomorrow. So I need to like finish up getting ready and packing and stuff. So I'll show you the cargo pants after Texas, but that is my little revolve haul. Everything will be linked. So crazy that they were like wanting to send me stuff. I'm so grateful. <laughs> you guys, I am so lazy right now. I'm literally dressed as if I'm gonna work out. AJ just left to go to the gym and I said that I'm not going with him. <laughs> I'm just so like, does this ever happen to you guys? Am I the only one? Ruining my carpet somewhere over there. This reminds me of the days where I was like this every day where I didn't want to do anything after work every single day. So I'm just really grateful that this only hits me like every now and then, but I figured I might as well keep it real, show you guys that I am not doing anything right now. I'm gonna take a shower, wash my hair, it's so oily. AJ's picking up Poya Tropical for dinner because we ran out of HelloFresh. I'm probably gonna watch TV for a lot of the night. Actually, you know what? This may be the perfect night to get back into reading and to start a new book. So I might do that, but like, that's just my life right now. Tomorrow we go to Texas with Anna. So I'm just trying to have like a chill night with AJ before we leave. This will be gone for four days. All right, I'm gonna take one of those everything showers. I'm gonna shave, wash my hair, exfoliate, cut my nails, not in the shower, but after. Pluck my eyebrows. What else am I missing? Let me know. Am I missing something? Clean my ear. Gotta clean my ear real good again. Ear's infected. Did I already say that? Look at her. What are you doing? Oh, there's a cup in there because AJ was cleaning his shoes. I don't, I'm not even gonna explain it. I think it's so funny that she's in there. I'm gonna turn on the water. I'm gonna turn on the water. Babe, you better. You better get out. Vinny. He's like, she shot her phone. Okay, I have to do a review of this sandwich and then we can continue. Oh, you're recording. Okay, guys, Poi Tropical line was too long, so AJ went to Wendy's. And they have apparently a new sandwich. It's Italian chicken parm sandwich. So we have crispy chicken, cheese, and this is a mozzarella stick, like a huge mozzarella stick. So I'm gonna give it a review. And then what are these? What's the flavor of these? Parmesan garlic fries. I didn't even know they had those. They're very, very oily. The fries are good, very strong, very strong. Here we go. I wish there was more marinara sauce. There's like not really a, any sauce on it. What did you get? Same it's pretty good. It is pretty good. I wish there was more sauce. Like it's missing sauce. So I would add marinara sauce or like ask for extra. But the mozzarella stick is like perfectly cooked. 7.5. You give the same four every time. Everything is seven to you. Okay guys, I just got this huge package of juice and juices from this brand Suja, which I've heard of this brand before, but I was not expecting this. This is a nice surprise. All right, let's see what we have here. We have a lot of little immunity shots. You guys know how I feel about these. This is so exciting. All right, <laughs> that is the lineup. Literally so much juice. Thank you so much. Suja for sending these over. I'm so excited to drink these. We are locked and loaded for weeks. All right, we gotta try one. Essentials, vitamin A, C, D, and E. Cucumber juice, pineapple juice, spinach juice, so it shouldn't be that bad. That was pretty good. It's basically like a green juice. I am, I'm having an allergic reaction. To Vinny. I was sitting on the couch petting her, watching my TV show, and then I touched my eyes, and that's the worst. And I sneezed like six times. I'm so allergic to cats. 
We were watching the show Pressure Cooker on Netflix. If you like cooking shows, it's a great show. It's like a mix of MasterChef and Survivor. It's actually so good, so check it out. But I made a big mistake, you guys. I accidentally paid for a carry-on with Spirit instead of a checked bag. So now I have to figure out how to fit all of this in a carry-on. And I'm stressing out because I paid $150. For the carry-on i don't even i feel like i got gypped i don't recall spending that much money but i just looked at my flight confirmation so i don't know let me see i might just do this in the morning now that i think about it because eli is really bothering me so yeah um pray for me